confused about who kept you hey. When the enemy said that I couldn't God did it Partners, We Street Baptist Church, we'd like for them to come forward and we have a special presentation to give to them. An appreciation to the We Street Baptist Church families and recognition of your generous support to the Hope Hill Elementary School 2017 Awards Day Program. Thank you. Thank you very much to our partners at Wheat Street Baptist Church. We could not have had this day without you. And we certainly appreciate all you do for Hope Hill. Thank you. Put your hands together, everybody. Listen, you've been running and running, running for a long time. Your time is winding up, better make up your mind. It's late in the evening, sun is going.
Welcome to the Love Out Loud broadcast from the sweetest place on Sweet Auburn. Wheat Street has always been and always will be one of the centerpieces of Auburn Avenue. We are a church in the heart of Atlanta with Atlanta in our heart. I'm Dr. Ralph Basui Watkins, and welcome to the Love Out Loud broadcast. Tonight, we're going to look at a piece of a sermon that really encourages us because where you start has nothing to say about where you finish. We're looking at the life of Mary, Joseph, and Jesus, but specifically focusing on Mary. So check it out. Where you start has nothing to say about where you finish. But this morning, for the next few minutes, I'm going to talk about this the topic, where you start has nothing to say about where you will finish. Where you start has nothing to say about where you will finish. As we said in the sermon, where you start has nothing to say about where you finish. One of our leading members in our church is Kenneth Taylor. Listen to his story. It will empower you. It will let you know that what we preached about actually works in the lives of our people. Listen to Kenny's story. And remember, where you start has nothing to say about where you finish. My name is Kenneth Taylor. Well, I'm originally from Colorado, from Denver. But I've been in Atlanta probably about 28 years. And for 15 of them years, I lived on the streets. Was a drug addict for about 25 years. And uh, I I started coming to Wee Street the same way people from the mission come. I came to get a meal. And I just, I got to the point where I said, man, you know, you can't, I can't, you can't keep doing this. Something got to give. And uh, about two days later, I was arrested for going to buy some drugs. And sitting in that jail, when they offered me drug court, I had made up in my mind that this is my chance to change my life. I guess by surrounding myself with the people of Wee Street and the people in the mission, and they constantly encouraged me and, and constantly talked to me, and they showed me how much God loved me, because they loved me. And it just, I just, uh, it was just, it, was, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was. And it was really kind of easy once I started doing it. Once I realized how much God loved me, and I learned to love myself. Just say to us, don't disdain your beginnings. Don't be ashamed of where you come from. Man, don't be ashamed of where you're at. Because God can take you when you're at to where God wants you to be. Don't let folk judge you for where you are from. Don't let folk judge you because of where you are at. I started from the bottom. Now I'm here. I started from the bottom. Now I'm here, a little ghetto boy, single parent, daddy left, mama with three children. Folk called me an at-risk child, but they didn't know I wasn't no at-risk child. I was a child of the most high God. He said, how a poor boy gonna make it? Raising in your father with dirt streets and septic tanks. Come on, somebody. Had one pair of shoes for church and one pair of converses for school. Come on, somebody. How does a boy like me make it? It's the same way you make it, by trusting in God. And allowing God to nurture you and use you and to rest you and push you and mold you and form you and develop you and then exalt you. And when God lifts you up, you better have enough sense to give God the glory. You better have enough sense to give God the praise. You better have enough sense to tell God thank you. You better have enough sense if it had not been for the Lord on your side, where would you be? We hope you've enjoyed the Love Out Loud broadcast. We say we are a church in the heart of Atlanta with Atlanta in our heart. We are Atlantis Church. And this month, 
as we do every month we have an outreach goal and this month we are collecting tents for our brothers and sisters experiencing homelessness if you like you can join us in this journey you can donate go to our website and donate 45 dollars help us buy a tent or better yet why don't you stop by the church for worship on sunday morning at 10 30 a.m and bring the tent with you thank you for watching the love out loud broadcast now, follow us on our website at wearewheatstreet.org, or better yet, stop by and worship with us and check out our website because on our website, you'll see opportunities for service. We believe God's called us to be in this city to make a real difference in the lives of real people. If you want to be involved in that movement, follow us. You can jump in and join in at any time. Every month we have volunteer opportunities, and we invite you to each and every one of them. God bless you, and check us out again on the Love Out Loud broadcast. Joshua Burton. Oh, Oops, Joshua, come on down. Oh, my, how are you today? Well, the Angel Tree event is very important. Merry Christmas. Because here in Hope Hill, we have about 411 students. We are a total Title I school, which means everyone here is on free and reduced lunch. We have quite a few families that cannot afford to get their students, children, anything for Christmas. So Wheat Street Baptist Church being a partner has made the Christmas of so many of our students by adopting them and blessing them with a Christmas gift that they may not have. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is to Tyler Gibson. Tyler, come on. And I'm going to tell you why I chose Tyler's name. Okay. Because I have a grandson named Tyler. And I said, I know I'm going to do it right for Tyler. All right. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Oh, and you did a great job. Oh, thank you, Mrs. for giving me presents. And I would like to give you something in return. Very nice, Tyler. Thank you, Miss Bush. All right. Because I, I didn't think I was going to have any Christmas presents. One more. Hold it right. Hold it right. Let me get out. Hold it right. 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 Hold it right.